Pippa Middleton made a striking appearance at a friend's wedding in Lake Como, showcasing her bold fashion sense and a subtle show of support for her father-in-law, David Matthews, who is currently facing an investigation by French authorities. Pippa donned a vibrant scarlet gown paired with eye-catching drop earrings, reaffirming her reputation as a fashion-forward icon. However, it was her small mother-of-pearl clutch bag that truly caught attention. The clutch was adorned with intricate designs of waves, glittery sand, and the words Eden Rock. This choice of accessory seemed to convey a message of solidarity with her father-in-law, David Matthews, who owns a high-society Caribbean hotel named Eden Rock. Matthews, aged 79 and a former racing driver, has been under investigation by French police, particularly a unit specializing in alleged crimes against minors. This investigation follows allegations dating back to 1998 to 1999, when he was charged with raping a 16-year-old girl on two occasions, first in Paris and then at his luxurious 5,000 pounds a night hotel in St. Barts. Matthews has consistently denied any wrongdoing and remains under investigation, despite years of legal proceedings and delays. In 2018, a spokesperson for the Middleton family firmly stated that David Matthews categorically denies the allegation and unequivocally contests the untrue and scandalous accusation. This wasn't the first time Pippa had been seen with the distinctive clutch. She was spotted with the same limited edition 400 pounds accessory from designer Elizabeth Sutton at a show in London's Royal Albert Hall with her husband, a billionaire hedge fund manager, the previous year. Pippa Middleton, who had gained fame and attention for her figure-hugging ivory maid of honor gown at her sister Kate's wedding to Prince William 12 years ago, once again took the spotlight at the wedding in Lake Como. The bride, Belle Porter, is a London-based nutritional therapist and influencer, and the wedding took place at the picturesque Villa Balbiano, known for its opulence and scenic beauty. The venue, which featured in the 2021 movie House of Gucci, offers a wedding package that costs approximately £1.3 million. The estate boasts extensive grounds with an outdoor swimming pool, a private pier, boathouse, and lavishly decorated historic interiors, featuring exquisite objects, start and furniture from past centuries, adorned with spectacular 17th-century frescoes. Pippa and James Matthews arrived at the Grand Hotel Tremesso, where they stayed in one of the three suites. The wedding festivities commenced with a pink, mood Barbie-themed welcome party at the hotel's garden, with Pippa sporting a pink outfit and her husband dressed in beige. Videos and photos from the event, widely shared on social media, reveal the extravagant nature of the celebration, with Pippa herself captured dancing and enjoying the festivities in her striking scarlet dress. The wedding ceremony itself took place against the breathtaking backdrop of Lake Como's surrounding mountains, with a dazzling light show featuring fireworks and projections of the newlyweds' faces onto the hotel's facade. The bride, resplendent in a white gown, was even seen being thrown into the air by enthusiastic guests. Guests, including Pippa, were treated to a sumptuous menu that included sliced grass-fed filet mignon, organic asparagus, tomato, sauté potatoes from Trentino, and baby carrots. Seafood enthusiasts had a choice of wild sea bass with fresh tomato emulsion and basil from the garden, while vegetarians could savor char-grilled cauliflower steak with tahini and pomegranate. Throughout the celebration, Pippa and James interacted with guests, and Pippa was even spotted snapping photos with her phone to capture the memorable moments of the ceremony. The couple was also spotted on the hotel balcony, enjoying their luxurious vacation. Pippa and her husband, James, were last seen in public together, enjoying a cozy date at Wimbledon earlier this summer. The 39-year-old Pippa is a devoted tennis fan and has been a regular presence in the stands during previous years. In July, they were part of a star-studded crowd at SW19, which included Queen Camilla, Mary Berry, and Peter Phillips, all seated in the royal box. Recently, Pippa and her husband James made a move from their £17 million townhouse in Chelsea to a spacious 30-room retreat in Berkshire. However, there's a possibility that the younger sister of the Princess of Wales might consider relocating to the Scottish Highlands in the future. This potential move hinges on her billionaire husband inheriting his family's Glen Africa estate.
James's father, David, acquired the estate in 2018, including the main house, Afric Lodge, nestled amidst 10,000 acres of a peninsula and a lodge bearing the same name. Glen Afric is situated in the southwest of the village of Canich in the Highland region of Scotland, approximately 15 miles west of Loch Ness. Mr. Matthews, who is the son of a Rotherham coal miner, amassed a fortune of 40 million pounds by transitioning from selling secondhand cars to venturing into property development and hotel ownership. His journey began when, after leaving school, he started as an apprentice garage mechanic. At the age of 19, he began selling cars door to door and pursued his passion for motor racing in his spare time. His first marriage was to Anita Taylor, one of Britain's pioneer female racing drivers. They had a daughter named Nina but divorced three years later in 1969. Subsequently, he married artist Jane Parker, who is now 75 years old. After moving out of their bungalow in Rotherham, the couple resided on a 30-acre 18th-century estate in rural Lincolnshire as their fortunes continued to grow. They also spent time living in Paris and Monaco. The couple had three sons, James, who is well known as a star on Made in Chelsea, Spencer and Michael. Tragically, Michael passed away at the age of 22 during an expedition on Mount Everest. Mr. Matthews ventured into the hotel industry, acquiring Eden Rock in Street Barts in 1995. He and his wife currently call the island their home. Dear friend, if you like everything new about the royal family and don't want to miss all the novelties, subscribe to our channel and like it. By doing so, you take part in our development. We work for you.